everyone, I'm Sarah, and welcome, or welcome back, to my crochet channel. Today's video is step number two in our ladies' tote and shopping bag crochet along. Now in step number one, we did the bottom portion of our bag. For today's video, we're going to be doing the center section. Now, if you would like the information on the introduction and step number one, you can find both of those down in the notes underneath this video. You can also find the complete pattern, and I'll put that link down in the notes underneath this video as well. Just a quick reminder of the supplies we're using to make our bag. You can use any medium weight number four yarn for this bag. And you're going to need approximately five ounces or about 245 yards. You can use any fiber. I'm using Sweet Roll from Premier. And the name of this is called Peaches and Cream Pop. It's really pretty. And I'm really loving how my bag has started out. We're stitching up our bag using an eye hook, which is a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. You need a pair of scissors and a needle just for weaving in ends. Let's get started with step two of our ladies tote and shopping bag crochet along. We joined, we chained three, and we're going to stitch two double crochets in the same stitch as our chain three. Our chain three counts as one, and we're going to stitch two more. Yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two loops, yarn over and go through the second two loops. And we'll do that again, stitching in that same stitch. Our chain three counted as our first double crochet. Then we stitch two more in the same stitch. So that gave us three double crochets in one stitch. We're going to skip the next two stitches and stitch three double crochets in the next. We'll skip the next two stitches and stitch three double crochets in the next. And this is our repeat for row five. Skip two single crochets and stitch three double crochets in the next stitch. And we'll continue to repeat this, working all the way around our bag for row five. three double crochets in the next stitch, skip two, three double crochets in the next stitch, skip two, and repeat, working all the way around our bag, and then we'll join back to the top of our chain three. I have repeated three double crochets in the next stitch, skip two, and repeat all the way around. I'm going to join to the top of my chain three with a slip stitch, we're going to slip stitch in the next two double crochets and then we'll slip stitch in between the next two sets of shells and chain three. And you should have 24 shell stitches. Now for row six, we're going to be stitching our shell stitches in the spaces between our shell stitches. So we have our chain three, which counts as our first double crochet. So we're going to stitch two more double crochets in that space between our shell stitches. Then we'll move to the next one and stitch a shell stitch, which it again is three double crochets in that space between. And this is our repeat for row six. 
we're going to stitch a shell stitch in between, in that space between each of the shell stitches. And again, our shell stitch is three double crochets, all stitched in that same space. And we'll repeat this working all the way around and again, join back to our chain three. I have completed row six, stitching my shell stitches in between each of my shell stitches. And again, you have 24 shell stitches. Here's my last shell stitch. I'm going to join to that chain three with a slip stitch. And again, I'm going to slip stitch in the next two double crochets and then slip stitch in between those next two shell stitches and chain three. And for row seven, we're just going to repeat what we did on row six. We're going to stitch our shell stitches in the space between each of the shell stitches, just like we did on row six. Three double crochets, which makes up our shell stitch in between each of our shell stitches from the previous row. And again, we'll repeat this all the way around and join back to our chain three. I have completed row seven and that gives us three rows of our granny stitch style. I join to chain three, but I'm not going to slip stitch across. I'm going to chain three right there on that chain three. And that's because we're going to do a row of double crochets. And so what we're going to do is stitch one double crochet in each of the double crochets around. And that means one double crochet in each of those three double crochets from our shell stitches. One double crochet in each of the double crochets working all the way around and this is going to give us a solid row of double crochets. We'll work this all the way around and join back to our chain three. Again, one double crochet in each of the double crochets around. I have completed row eight, which is our solid row of double crochet all the way around. Here's my last double crochet and I'm going to join to the chain three with a slip stitch and chain three. And what we're going to do for the next two rows, nine and 10, is repeat row eight. One double crochet in each of the double crochets around And this is going to give us three rows of solid double crochets. All right, so one double crochet in each of the double crochets around, working all the way around our bag for two more rows. I have now completed through row 10. We did three rows of our granny style stitch and three rows of one double crochet in each stitch. And now what we're going to do is we're going to repeat row five, row six, row seven, row eight, row nine, and row 10. We're going to repeat this whole section one more time. You'll do three rows of grannies and three rows of double crochets. So we're repeating this section 
row 5 through 10 one more time. I repeated row 5 through 10 one more time. So I have three more rows of my granny style stitches and three rows of solid double crochet. Now the pattern is written to stop here, but if you want your bag to be longer, you can continue to repeat those rows for one or two more times or as long as you want your bag. Once you have completed your last row of double crochet, we're going to join to our chain three, but we're not going to chain three. This is the end of part two of our bag. Part three, I'm going to show you how to even that up. We're going to put the top portion on and the handle. Here's the other one. This will be part three of our bag. And of course, we'll be finished.